Sandra from Creating Spain here and I'm doing a brief review today on Super Vectorizer, an app available from the App Store for Macs and what it does is it converts raster images to SVGs or other vector formats. It will import an image, so for example I can import this PNG and I'm going to put that into colour mode and go back to the original here. Um, you have an image like this which perhaps you can't easily trace in something like Silhouette Studio. And there are many people that don't like using GIMP, Photoshop, Corel and so on and so forth. They find them too complicated. But they want to do a trace and it's not that easy to do a trace in some cases. Now where you find one, which is hard to do in studio, is where you have different colours but there are similar tonal values. It doesn't differentiate between the colours. It doesn't pick up different colours, it does it by tone. So it can be a bit difficult if you have some more complex images. Now this one is a vintage one that I picked up off the internet. And we can see here we have different modes. We have edge, we have colour, we have grayscale, we have stack scan, or you can have it not stacked. It depends on your preference. You can increase, let's knock off the grey, you can increase the colour numbers or you can decrease the colour numbers. So you can get a variety of different things from one image that you might want to cut. You can alter the smooth radius so that you cut things very, very smooth, or you can have it so that it doesn't take the edges off so much. The choice is yours. When you've got the design as you think you want it, you click export and you get a choice. You save the file as, I'm going to save it as one. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to choose SVG for my saving. And click save and there it is. Okay, open up Silhouette Studio and click one and here it is it appears and if you zoom in you might be thinking it's got no cut lines but it does you just have to turn them on you select it you turn on your cut lines give them a color and there they are you need to check that the thickness is down to naught because it will usually end up with an SVG. For some reason it imports as a 1. So there's your image. If you right click you can ungroup it and that means you can choose whichever bits you want to cut out. For example, I've got my image stacked so that all the pink colours are stacked in one layer basically. This particular pink. So I could choose just to cut out this pink. Okay, if I put it back I could take away completely this outer layer and completely delete it. I can select all those and I can group it again. I can go to my cut settings and go cut edge. And it will just do an outline cut for me. It will also cut a few of these little bits here because those are edges, they're seams edges where there's gaps in the actual design. But you could ungroup that and you could rub them out if you so wish. Another way of getting it to cut around the outside edge or getting a line for an external cut is to take your image and take the number of colours right the way down until you get the result that you want. In some cases it works really well, in others it doesn't. In this one there's too many gaps for that. But you could go to edge, find your edges there, you can get more edges. And the other thing that you can do in studio, for example, is you can do an offset. If you have a complicated image, you can group it and offset it and you can make a cut line from there. Or if you didn't want to do that, 
you could, if you have already got rid of the background, just do a trace in studio and get your precise outline edge. But this is a way of getting your uh, pieces to be pieces, okay? And it does a very good job of that. So I hope you found this useful. Have a look at it, see if you like it, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.